Hi, it's Corey Chambers in Los Angeles, your home sold, guaranteed, or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic. Mills Act, downtown Los Angeles, lofts for lease, and luxury tent homeless mansions revealed. If you see any properties that are of interest to you, let us know. We will gladly send you a property information packet on any loft, condo, or house, or private previews available upon request. If you have a home you'd like to sell, you should know that I will guarantee the sale of your present home at a price acceptable to you, or I'll buy it for cash. This guarantee will allow you to buy your next home without worrying about selling your present home. To find out how much you could sell your home for, call me at 213-880-9910 now. Lofts for lease include penthouses like this one and also more affordable artist lofts in downtown Los Angeles. While DTLA continues to bear the brunt of virus panic, hysteria, and lockdown, home buyers, sellers, renters, landlords, and investors want to know what is really happening in the city. Here's the newest top 10 list to show what loft blog readers are thinking and doing. Top 10, number one. Start with number one. Mills Act Downtown Los Angeles. This has been number one for years. Uh, it's almost always number one, almost every day. Those are the amazing properties with the historic, historic lofts with property tax benefits. Uh, so owners get paid to live in these amazing places with extra character and only pay about one-third of the property taxes. That's a huge savings, thousands of dollars a year. Lofts for lease. There we go. That's what people are doing right now. They're leasing lofts. By the way, I want to remind everyone that downtown Los Angeles real estate is crashing, in case you have not been reading the loft blog for the last two years. Uh, we give lots and lots of reports almost every month about what's happening with real estate, and it's almost always falling, 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 falling prices falling, and also the number of transactions has been falling. Uh, real estate uh, agent careers have been falling, and if I did not own, buy lots of Bitcoin when times were good, then I might be falling. Um, people are falling down because and uh, committing suicide uh, from the lockdown depression, and uh, as I mentioned uh, almost a year ago, the overreaction, panic, hysteria, and bad choices are worse, have been worse than the actual virus. Okay, dramatic revelation, luxury tent mansions of Skid Row. Uh, if you wanna take a look and see what uh, people in Los Angeles, um, there's a lot of benefits to being homeless that the city gives. No, they give basically free real estate for an indefinite amount of time that homeless people could use up the sidewalks and uh, with large tents and tents and more than one tent. If you want a sprawling tent uh, complex, compound of luxury tents, then you're allowed to do that. So you can see the link right here where people are taking advantage of that and having adding more and more luxuries to their tents. In the meantime, people cannot walk on the sidewalks. Um, pedestrians are forced to walk in the street where they're being mowed down and killed by cars. Dramatic revelation, live work lofts downtown LA versus residential studio apartments. This is just a brief summary because um, on our viewpoint of the readers and writers of the LA Loft blog, what is the difference between a studio apartment and a loft, an open loft? And um, lofts generally can, are called a loft um, when it's converted. The other kind of loft is in like a house or something where you have a built a, a little mezzanine um, area that's a little upstairs um, section, but it's not enclosed, so, um, so it's more of a mezzanine rather than a story or a floor. All right, so that's another word for a loft, but in a loft can have a loft in it. So you can have a loft, which is what we usually call lofts in downtown Los Angeles and other big city downtown areas, urban areas. These are residential places or residential live work uh, residences that have been converted that used to be an industrial or or commercial and has been converted. 